testimonies give hope and speak to the truth of the transforming power that is the love of Jesus Christ. Let's listen now to this month's Spotlight Servant. Hi, my name is Dami Dupar. I am 16 years old. I attend Upland High School as a junior. And when I was 13, and I was in the seventh grade going to the eighth, I developed a sinus headache, which caused me to have brain surgery later on. When I told my parents about my sinus headache, they didn't know how to approach the situation. So they just kept taking me back and forth to the hospital, which was kind of getting irritated to all of us because he wanted to have a fast solution. <laughs> And um, I remember this one night, my mom looked at me. She said, oh my gosh, your forehead's protruding with fluid. And she rushed me to the ER. And um, they gave me a CAT scan. And she, they told my mom that I would not come back home with her. So after I got my results from the CAT scan, they rushed me to the E, they rushed me to the ICU in Hollywood, the Kaiser in Hollywood. And um, it was 2 o'clock in the morning. And they told me that I would have to have immediate brain surgery at 8 o'clock that morning. Um, throughout this whole process, um, from hearing that I would have to have brain surgery, I was um, thinking about, like, why is this happening to me? Like, it was summer break. I just got off of school, and I wanted to enjoy my summer, not in the hospital. <laughs> and um, this situation, like, kind of, it didn't make me lean off of God. It made me actually closer to him because I started thinking like why why is he go, why is he putting me through this even though I still doubted God at that moment I was like God doesn't love me or anything I knew that he was doing this for a reason so I just had to keep praying and stick to um my hope and like stick to praying because um at one point, I was just a mess, emotional mess, and like my faith was gone. But it came back later on though, because I was supposed to be homeschooled for a year, but I returned school three months after I had surgery. And I was just, I was like, oh my gosh, I know this is God, and I know this is um, a miracle because He wouldn't have put me through this for no reason. So when I came back to school, they were, they looked at me like, oh my gosh, you're like a walking testimony. And after that, I still believe I am a walking testimony because I feel like if I wasn't able, if I didn't believe in God, if I didn't pray, I feel like I won't be here to this day or be able to be here if like physically. I could be like have brain dead. I never know, but I know I'm just so glad that I am able to talk and walk after the after major brain surgery because I'm so glad to have my mom and dad next to me throughout this whole process because without them, I wouldn't have remained, I don't know. Without them, they just, I probably would um, still be self-confident, self-assuring, like, like I have to need, I need confidence. I need um, approval from like people how I look because they were the they were the main ones telling me, Dominique, you are going to be fine. My mom, I was like, Mom, why aren't you crying? I, I was like, why aren't you crying? She was like, I have to be strong for you. I was like, wow. Well, that's a that's a blessing in my day. So to this day, I still pray and I still thank God about how he has cured me from this, um, this amazing t t testimony because I remember um, when I had the speech tournament, I didn't win, but I won spiritually. Cause eight ladies, like eight people, I'm, I'm telling you, came up to me back and forth telling me how much they, that my story affected them. They were, they came up to me crying. And I was like, wow, like, I don't even know you guys and that story touched you like that. So I could, I could imagine just Hearing somebody telling you their story, it's so weird for me to tell somebody my story because there's like, they'll start crying or like, they'll be like, oh my gosh, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, 
not a big deal. It was like a walk in the park. But it's really not. It's a miracle. And that's um, it's something I had to accept. That God is um, He's a miracle worker. Just keep just keep having faith in him. Remaining faith is just the most important thing. And that stuck with me throughout this whole process.